Hello everyone, welcome to the Epic Flight Academy. We are so glad you're here and we are so glad you're watching these videos. <clears throat> this is the Private Pilot Ground School and if you want to be successful in a Private Pilot Ground School, remember there's three parts. This video is one, the online learning is two, and review of the material with your flight instructor is three. Now what's our topic today? Our topic today is propellers. If we take a look at propellers, we need to name a few parts to understand exactly how this thing works. So let's start with this diagram. The propeller is an airfoil, and the airfoil has a camber. The airfoil also has a leading edge and a trailing edge. The propeller is a rotating airfoil. The propeller rotates around the center shaft. So looking at our same diagram, we see when this airfoil rotates, it makes sense that it's going to rotate slower near the hub and it's going to rotate faster near the tip. Now take a careful look at this diagram. Because it rotates slower near the hub and faster near the tip, the pitch angle on this blade changes from hub to tip. Where the speeds are faster near the tip, that pitch angle is lower. Where the speed of rotation is slower near the hub, that pitch angle is larger. In most US made airplanes, as I sit in the cockpit and I look out toward my propeller, I'm going to see my propeller rotating clockwise from my perspective in the aircraft. Now that's not true on all airplanes, it's true on most airplanes, and it's true on your Cessna 172. When that thing starts to rotate, it's producing thrust. That is a fixed pitch propeller. It's fixed because the pitch of that propeller blade cannot be changed. That pitch is built in to the propeller and it's not changeable, it's fixed. So because that propeller is fixed, it's going to give me the same propeller performance no matter if I'm in a climb, I'm in a dive, I'm doing slow flight, I'm in a cross country, no matter what I'm doing, that propeller is fixed and I get fixed performance. The performance from a propeller will be more efficient if I can get a low pitch at low speeds. That means the propeller will go around at a higher RPM. At high speeds, like I'm on a long cross country and I'm going fast as I travel, the propeller will be more efficient if I can get a larger pitch angle. So I want a larger pitch angle at higher speeds. Well, is it possible to control the pitch on my propeller? And the answer is yes. And guess what we call it? You guessed it, a controllable pitch propeller. Now notice that controllable pitch propellers are sometimes called constant speed propellers. The reason for that we'll talk about in more detail later, but what they mean by constant speed is I can select an RPM setting for my propeller and if the airplane speeds up or slows down, that propeller will automatically all by itself with no input from you adjust its pitch to maintain that constant RPM or constant 
speed. That's why controllable pitch propellers are sometimes called constant speed propellers. Now, if I have a constant speed propeller, that means I need a propeller control. And that propeller control knob controls propeller RPM. You can see in this picture here, this is a throttle quadrant that shows a black throttle knob, a blue propeller knob, and a red mixture knob. That blue propeller knob has a crowned shape to it and controls the RPM of the propeller. Now, if I'm a fixed wing propeller pilot or a fixed propeller pilot, like on my 172, I'm used to having my throttle control the RPM. So what does this black throttle knob on this airplane control? It controls what we call manifold pressure. And here you see the manifold pressure gauge. So when we have a controllable pitch propeller or a constant speed propeller, the blue crown knob controls the RPM of the propeller. The black throttle knob controls the pressure in the intake manifold. Remember the intake manifold is taking air and or an air fuel mixture to the cylinder. And by manifold pressure, we literally mean the pressure in the intake manifold. So on these types of airplanes, we see the black throttle knob, manifold pressure, the blue crown knob, that's for propeller RPM, and the good old red mixture knob, no changes there. That's the same as it always was. So we generally divide our propellers into two categories, fixed and controllable or constant speed. So here's a question to review today's lesson. Could you explain why a propeller has a smaller pitch angle when you get closer to the tips? Well, folks, that's it for propellers. We hope to see you next time.